Have you always wanted a TV that is free of cable clutter? Sky has brought out a new range of TVs called Skyglass, which will try to make it simple for consumers like yourself to use the television without needing to connect any HDMI cable to the TV. So you don't even need a Skybox or a Skyq box. You don't even need any cables or external streaming box in order to use the TV and watch Sky content. You know, you don't even need a satellite dish installed. And this is probably the new era of IPTV. But I think you know you watch this channel because of the technical specifications of these TVs. So I shall run through them. You can see behind me that there are three screen sizes, namely the small version, the medium version, and also the large version. To your left is the small version, which is 43 inches in screen size. And to be honest, you know it looks smaller than I thought. And the middle one would be the 55-inch version, and the far right one, relative to you, would be the 65-inch model. And according to Sky, these are the three most popular screen sizes in the UK and the rest of Europe, and who am I to argue with them? So from that point of view, these TVs will be equipped with a VA-type LCD panel. The viewing angle does degrade and the blacks turn slightly grayish, you know, off axis. But straight on, you know, the picture quality is respectable. There is also local dimming on board, but I don't think the company will be willing to divulge the number of local dimming zones. And all they would say is coyly that the number of local dimming zones that are implemented is good enough to deliver high picture quality. And from the point of view of colors, this TV is actually equipped with quantum dots, so they are classified as QLED. A spokesperson from Sky has said that these TVs are built by TP Vision, and obviously they are designed by Sky themselves. And one thing for you gamers out there is that even though this TV is packed at HDMI 2.1, the refresh rate of these screens are only 60 hertz. So from that point of view, I don't think you know this will support 4K 120Hz for VR gaming with your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5. This is generally a proposition for some of you customers out there who just want a simple solution for someone to deliver the TV, either wall mount it or put it on the stand and free of cable clutter and you can start using it with Sky's really, I would say, class leading user interface. There were lots of demonstration about voice control. The wake word is Hello Sky, and this will activate the voice control. And you can ask it to do various things like open up a program, switch to a certain HDMI input, and also what is very useful is a playlist function which will aggregate different series of shows from different streaming platform. So the example that Sky gave was that Grey's Anatomy is spread across three providers, namely Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and also Sky themselves. And if you want to watch a certain season, you know, you just need to go into your playlist function on your Sky Glass television, which will just pull the correct episode from the correct season for you to watch without needing you to faff about, as long as you have the subscription to the necessary service of course. The TV will support various HDR formats including HDR10, HLG or Hybrid Lock Gamma and also Dolby Vision. But again, I can't ring out the peak brightness numbers from anyone at the company but looking at these sets and also looking at the price points that these TVs are pitched at, I think you know, I would be surprised, I would be extremely surprised if the peak brightness on these TVs reach anywhere close to 1,000 nits. I would venture a guess that it is probably closer to 500 nits, if not less. And from the point of view of the design, there is a high-grade anodized aluminum finish. And also at the bottom, you may notice an integrated soundbar as well. And if you look around the back, it is extremely clean. There are three HDMI ports. And I think in the spec sheet, they are listed as HDMI 2.1, but the screen refresh rate is only 60 hertz anyway. And by the way, I think you know the TV is meant to reproduce the content natively. Let's say if you are displaying 24 hertz content, the TV will be displaying at 48 hertz to avoid introducing any telecynic judder. And this is true to the creator's intent. And then 
there will be a picture board in the TV to actually make sure that this happens. But I'm not entirely sure whether noise reduction will be off, whether sharpening will be off, whether motion smoothing will be off. And I think, you know, I can only find out these details when I actually get the chance to review this television. But where was I? Yes, there are three HDMI ports down facing so that, you know, this TV can be wall mounted and there is a unique wall mount solution included into the packaging and this will make sure that the TV is flush to the wall. There are five colors to choose from and you can even customize the speaker face here and soon probably they may be rolling out some limited edition as well. And the included remote is revamped to be shaped like the normal Sky remote that people have come to like and it will be shipped in a matching color with the bezel as well. And if you choose to put this TV on a stand, you can see here that there is no space to accommodate an external sound bar at all. So you are really depending on the sound quality that is being put out by the integrated sound bar. And to my ears, it actually sounded quite good considering the price because you know it's meant to be a six speaker system so there are three front firing speakers and then there are also two up firing speakers plus a subwoofer and I can certainly hear decent sound immersion and also the clarity is quite high which is accentuated by the bass as well because you know there is a subwoofer built in but I think you know the target demographics that this TV will appeal to are those people who just want an all-in-one solution that is affordable, I would say. So let me go through the prices for this set. The 43-inch small Skyglass TV will cost £649 to buy outright. The 55-inch model will cost £849 to buy outright. And the largest 65-inch model will cost £1,049 to buy outright. But you can also buy these in installments. So just like how mobile phones are increasingly bought these days on contract, you can either go on to a 24-month contract or a 48-month contract. And if you go on to the 48-month contract, basically you pay a small amount every month for four years. For the 43-inch model, you will pay £13 a month. For the 55-inch model, you will pay £17 a month. And for the largest 65-inch model, you will pay £21 a month. And also, Sky has their Sky Ultimate Bundle as well, and this is going to be in HD or high definition. I forgot to mention that these screens are all 4K, they are all UHD resolution of 3840 times 3160. But as part of what they are proposing to make it even more tempting for customers, you can actually buy a Sky Ultimate Bundle in HD together with the Sky Glass TV for £26 a month for the Sky Ultimate package. So in total, if you want to buy the Sky Ultimate package together with the 43-inch version of Sky Glass, you will only need to pay £39 a month for, let's say, the next four years, which is, I think, you know, probably quite affordable and quite manageable. And at the end of the day, I think this is going to shake up the TV market. You know, I'm all about picture quality, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, some people just want the convenience and these TVs are certainly convenient. And because you don't need any external skybox, because you don't need a satellite dish and you do away with a lot of the clutter, I think this is certainly an exciting product to be introduced into the TV market because you know you have the only TV that you can buy with Sky built in and I think you know it will be launched in the UK on the 18th of October and then it will slowly be rolled out to other markets in Europe. Now to me given the price point the Sky Glass TV is certainly very interesting and exciting but is it the right TV for you? To avoid buying the wrong TV, please click here to find out the six mistakes you need to avoid.